Standard 6, Subject English, Unit 2.7, Yonamine and Pushi. Don't underestimate anybody. Yonamine Chiru was the most admired girl in Okinawa. She was intelligent, tall, strong, big and beautiful. And most important of all, she was so well trained in karate that no one could beat her. When it was time to get her married, her father, who was a rich merchant, began to worry. But where, oh where, could he find a young man who would come forward to marry a woman who was stronger than him? Yunamine had her own ideas about marriage. She declared firmly, I will only marry a man who can beat me in a fair fight. Surprisingly, many young men picked up the challenge and came forward to fight her. After all, she was a beautiful girl with a fortune. Many wrestlers were eager to win her in a contest of martial arts. One of the first to ask for her hand was Kojo, who was actually bigger and stronger than Yonamine. He was so tall and well-built that his hands were like shovels and his legs resembled tree trunk. But he played foul. Even as Yonamine was bowing to him in the customary sign of respect to one's opponent, he threw a punch at her, breaking the rules of the game. Yonamine was angry. She got hold of his arm and twisted it so powerfully that the unsupportive Kojo fell down in a heap and had to limp away defeated. Many promising young wrestlers tried their hand but Yonamine defeated them all. Her father was in despair. Who would marry a girl who enjoyed wrestling? Bushikiyo was just such a man. He had trained under the karate master, Sakugawa. He proved to be such an expert that he was recruited by Shoko, the king of Okinawa, to be his personal guard. His friends said to Bushi, You should take on the challenges of this girl, Yonamin. She may be big, but you are stronger and smarter than her. Bushi too was keen to marry a girl like Yonamin. I shall fight with her and win over her, he decided. Yonamine was impressed at the sight of her new challenger. She had heard that he was one of King Shoko's personal warriors. He was tall and slim. He stood firmly on his feet and seemed unshakable. Above all, he had dark, piercing eyes which looked straight at the opponent and showed that he was fearless and straightforward. The wrestling match began. Yonamin and Bushi bowed to each other and then began to attack each other in earnest. They punched, kicked and twisted using their best techniques. It looked as if the match was going to be a tie. Nobody winning, nobody losing. But at a crucial moment in the fight, Yonamin paused ever so briefly. Bushi took advantage of the moment and brought her down with a swift punch. Yonamin's father was a very happy man. Bushi and Yonamin were married in a splendid ceremony. It was a happy marriage. Yonamin was kind and loving. She cooked and cleaned and kept the house spick and span. One day, when she was sweeping the kitchen, Bushi saw her lift a huge bag of rice with her left hand as she swept beneath the bag with her right hand. He grew thoughtful. Is she really so strong? And yet have brought her down with one punch? One day, Yonamine announced that she would like to visit her parents. I will leave in the evening and return the next day in time to cook your dinner, she said to her husband. You really should not travel during the night, Bushi said to her firmly. There are bandits about. It is just not safe for a woman to go out alone after it is dark. 
my dear husband, you forget that you married a trained wrestler. Yanamin said to him with a smile. Don't forget that I threw you down flat on the ground, said Bushi. You are not unbeatable. Don't worry, said Yonamin. Bandits are not as skilled as you are. I can take care of myself. Bushi was not pleased. She is overconfident, he thought to himself. She must be taught a lesson for her own good. That evening, Yonamin left to walk to her father's home. As soon as she departed, Bushi disguised himself as a bandit, wearing shabby clothes, smearing dark colours over his hands and covering his face with a scarf. He ran as fast as he could to hide behind a clump of trees at a fork on the road. Darkness fell and he saw Yonamin approaching the fork from where she would take a left turn to reach her father's house. When she crossed the clump of trees, Bushi jumped out from behind the trees and tried to attack her. Yonamin was swift and sharp in her reaction to the attack. She held her attacker by the hand and kicked him with such force that the attacker fell to the ground unconscious. Yonamin dragged him and tied him to a tree with her sash. She adjusted her backpack and set off round the corner for her father's home. The next day, as she was returning home in the afternoon, she saw her bandit still tied to the tree as she had left him the previous night. Shall I untie you now or leave you here? She asked him. Please untie me, mumbled the bandit. I beg you to forgive me. I shan't ever do this again. Swiftly she untied him and walked away quickly. She was in a hurry. She had to reach home in time to cook her husband's evening meal. Little did she realize that she had just released her husband from his captivity. That evening, quite a while after she had set the dinner ready, Bushy walked in looking tired and dull. She helped him wash and set out fresh clothes for him to wear. She invited him to have a hot meal. As Bushy sat down to dinner, he brought out a white sash from his pocket and gave it to his wife. This is yours, if I'm not mistaken. He said, looking into her eyes. Oh, Bushy, was it you? I'm so sorry, exclaimed Yonamin. You don't have to be sorry, said Bushy. You taught me a lesson that I won't forget all my life. And that is, don't underestimate anybody. Not even a woman? asked Yonamin playfully. Especially not a woman, said Bushy and they burst out laughing together. Children, you just heard the story of Yonamin and Bushi. The moral of the story is we must never underestimate anybody, especially women. We also learn from this story that girls can do whatever boys can, provided they develop their physical strength. Given equal opportunities, girls can also be at the same level as boys. The West has shown that girls and boys are equal in many fields. Even in our country, India, girls and boys are equal in many fields. But this is only in the urban areas, in cities. The rural areas are still backward where girls are not given equal opportunities as boys we shall now understand the meanings of the difficult words from this lesson yonamin and bushi martial arts any of the fighting sport like judo and karate shovel a tool with a long handle and broad blade used for moving sand and snow. Resembled, looked like. Customary, usual. Throw a punch is a phrase. Hit somebody with your fist. Unsportive, not fair or generous in your treatment of others. Recruited, hired for a job. 
fragile not strong crucial extremely important some more meanings from the lesson yonamine and bushy the meaning of the phrase piercing eyes eyes that seem to notice everything bandits thieves who attack travelers shabby old and in bad condition smearing spreading over a surface clump of trees this is a phrase a group of trees close together fork a place where a road divides into two parts sash a long strip of cloth worn around the waist or over one's shoulder captivity imprisonment underestimate to think that somebody is weaker than he really is children let's discuss the questions from the lesson yonamine and bushy the first question yonamine's idea about marriage yonamine said she would only marry a man who would beat her in a fair fight second question how did bushy defeat yonamine in the wrestling match at a crucial moment in their match yonamine paused briefly bushy took advantage of the moment and brought her down with a swift punch third question why was yonamine's father worried yonamine's father was worried wondering where he would find a young man who would marry a woman who was bigger and stronger than him why was yonamine angry with kojo yonamine was angry with kojo because he threw a punch at her while she was bowing to him breaking the rules of the game he played a foul game the type of girls that young men wanted to marry young men wanted to marry girls who could cook and wash and make tea for their husbands why did bushi tell yonamine not to travel at night bushi told yonamine not to travel at night as it was not safe to go out alone after dark for there were bandits about yonamine's fight with bushi disguised as a bandit yonamine held her attacker bushi by the hand and kicked him with such force that he fell to the ground unconscious she then tied him to a tree with her sash the lesson that bushi learned the lesson bushi learned was not to underestimate anybody especially not a woman yonamine's schedule for visiting her parents one day yonamine said that she would like to visit her parents she would leave in the evening and return the next day in time to cook bushi's dinner how did bushi indicate that he was a bandit bushi brought out the white sash with which yonamine had tied him to a tree and gave it to her saying this is yours if i am not mistaken the sash being with him indicated that he was the bandit assignments to be done write a short note on kojo write in short about yonamine chiru of okinawa bushi kiyo write the noun forms of this is word formation so the word is happy it's an adjective the noun form is happiness so nouns are formed by adding suffixes like ness so this happiness is a noun the y has changed to i and ness is the suffix spelling of suffix is s u f f i x so happiness is the noun the second word laugh to laugh it's a verb the noun form of laugh is laughter so the suffix is t e r so laughter is a noun the third word announce to announce it's a verb the noun form of announce is announcement so ment m e n t is the suffix that is added to make the noun the next word safe safe is an adjective the noun form of safe is safety so t y is the suffix that is added to make nouns so safety depart to depart it's a verb the noun form is departure u r e u r e is the suffix that is used to form noun so departure is the noun realize to realize it is a verb the noun form is realization so a t 
T-I-O-N is the suffix that is used to form nouns. So children, nouns are also formed by adding certain suffixes. Here it was nes, here it was T-E-R, M-E-N-T, T-Y, U-R-E and A-T-I-O-N. Also, you can remember to keep the in mind when you are changing it into noun. So the happiness, the laughter, the announcement, the safety, the departure, the realization. Or you have to remember the suffixes. N-E-S-S, T-E-R, M-E-N-T, T-Y, U-R-E and A-T-I-O-N.